good day we are going to discuss about major issue management before moving on to the demo topics let's have a quick discussion about what is major issue management and when and how it is used this can be used whenever a multiple customers are facing similar issues so that we can create a major case and this can be created in two ways customer service manager can create a case or customer service manager or major issue manager can promote a major case candidate in entire major issue management we will be using terms like major case major case candidate and a child case let's move on to the demo in today's demo we are going to discuss about these six topics let's move on to the first one propose a major case as a major case candidate let's check that how we can do it so before moving on to the configuration we need to install a major issue management plugin go to the plugin section and search for a major issue management and open it and install it on your instances and this is a summary of major issue management if you have any dependency plugins that can also be installed with this plugin and for demoing i have taken two profiles one is admin profile which has major issue manager role and other one is agent profile who doesn't have major issue manager role let's move on to the agent profile let's create a case and our first topic is create a case and propose that case as a major case candidate let's create one i'm i'm selecting an account for this particular case and database server is down and i'm submitting or i'm saving it so now agent is uh, preparing to propose or propose a major case candidate before proposing a major case candidate what we need to know is whenever issues are coming with the same short description or same issues is coming from different accounts then agents will propose a major case candidate how agent will propose a major case candidate let's see that you click on this and you can click on propose a major case so it will ask to type some work notes that can be copied on to the case let's propose a major case candidate so it will create a major case candidate it won't create but actually the case which we have created will convert it as a major case candidate let's check on major case information this major case information section or tab will be added whenever we are viewing it as a major case candidate or else major case in normal cases we cannot see this tab and here you can see major case status proposed and business impact whatever we given in a pop up window that is copied here and not only that work notes and business impact we have given will be copied to the work notes and here you can see proposed as a major case candidate let's check on the major case candidates list i'm opening the candidates list and this is the proposed major case candidate from the agent let's open this and these uh, major case candidate can be approved or rejected by the major issue manager or customer service manager agents cannot do it agents can work until creation of major case candidate after that this can be handled by the major issue manager here you cannot see any options let's move on to the other profile we have taken go to the major case candidate and open the case let's load it and this is a major case candidate which is proposed by the agent now click here we can see approve a major case candidate or reject a major case candidate if we reject a major case candidate this will again convert it as a normal case if you approve a major case candidate from here a new major case is created and this case will become a child case 
of the new major case in practical we can see that see here you can see after proposing a major case candidate an email will be triggered to the major issue manager and here we have major issue manager role with the admin and able tutor is an agent who proposed a major case candidate let's click on approve major case candidate by approving it see a new major case is created and this becomes a child case for this new major case let's open new major case because this is we are creating from an existing case existing case will become a child case for the new new major case and this is a major case and in major case also we can see major case information now major case state is changed to accepted and here we can see in work notes also it is copied and let's go to the child cases see here 1032 this is this becomes a child case for this particular major case not only that we can see or we can create child cases for the major case or we can add existing cases from the cases list let's add we are going to add child cases for a newly created major case i'm selecting here i'm selecting these two randomly and i'm submitting it so these two cases will be added as a child cases see here you can see those two added as a child cases for this major case not only that this is one way of adding already uh, let's go on to the ppt and let's check it see create a child case for a major case this we will be discussing now a add existing case as a child case to major case this is already i have shown now on the demo we can add it from here so how we can create a child case for a major cases here we have create a child cases before creating a child cases if you click on directly it will give a notification that in order to create child cases, you must select a recipient list in the affected customers field. So go to the major case information section. Here you can see the affected customers. So click on this affected customers and uh, I already created one recipient list. I'm going with that. And I'm saving it. After attaching recipient list to the affected customers field, you can click on create child cases so that it will create child cases based on the recipient list we are providing in the affected customers field so before continuing we can add add additional comments here these additional comments will be copied to cases created from this create child cases button and this can be a customer visible comments Let's continue it. So it will create cases. Here you can see. Before that we have these three cases. Now it is created other two cases based on the affected customers list. Let's move on to the recipient list. I will show how I created it. Under targeted comms we will be having recipient list. Here you can create recipient list this can be discussed in detail later just i'm showing what i have done i created a simple list here let's load this page and this is how i created mim recipient list and type will be like uh, we have four options one is account contacts internal users or consumer we can select whatever type we require and I'm selecting as accounts and I selected as dynamic conditions or you can upload a file or you can script it. So I'm selecting accounts table and I given condition as name contains LLC. After creating it, after saving it, you can refresh the recipient list and it will populate the recipient list with this condition which contains LLC. And these are the three accounts with the LLC name. So these LLC accounts can be seen here in 
child cases see llc llc because we already have an llc with an existing child case it's populating other two accounts which has llc and this this is how we can create a child case or this is how we add a child case for the major case uh, let's check on synchronization in may in uh, major case we will be having field synchronization let's check that on the properties of the customer service management so if you want to synchronize the fields from the major major case to the child cases you need to enable the property this is the one synchronize fields from parent to child cases you need to enable this property by default it is no you need to enable it manually uh, and here you can see comma separated lists of fields that synchronize from parent case to child case which means major case to child cases these are the fields we can synchronize when we are creating a child cases let's check that in our major case and this is a priority for and we have short description as d2b server is down and here you can see we created two child cases so for those two child cases it is populated same short description and same priority and other two cases which we are adding it from existing list so it won't so not only that we have comments work notes close notes resolution code and state this can be copied from major case to child case let's propose a solution so the state can be moved to resolve so we have some mandatory fields let's fill it and click on propose a solution and now state will be changed to resolve and we have proposed and we added resolution code and resolution notes and here you can see resolve state is moved to resolve and this should be with same with child cases see you can see that all child cases states are moved to resolve not only that if you open any one of the child case you can see resolution code and resolution note we selected solve fixed by closing related prb and server and these two fields will be shown same because we are synchronizing these fields from major case to the child cases let's close all this and we can move on to the next part of the demo till now we discussed how to create or how to propose a case as a major case candidate and how we can add or create a child cases for a major case let's move on to and we also seen approve or reject a major case candidate and how we can create a major case from a major case candidate let's move on to create a major case candidate these all topics will be covered in one scenario let's move on to the agent profile and go to the candidates before this like uh, we proposed a major case candidate from an existing case now what we are doing is we directly create major case candidate so i'm giving same server is down so here you can see we are creating directly a major case candidate and it will be on proposed state let's save it and this becomes our major case candidate so in before scenario let's recollect what we have done we proposed a major case candidate from the existing case this is an existing case and from here agent proposed a major case candidate so after that we are create uh, after that uh, major issue manager will approve or reject a major case candidate after approving a major a case candidate that can be converted as a child case and a new major case will be created in this scenario we are directly creating a major case candidate so again this can be approved by the major issue manager let's move on to that profile 
and go to the major case candidates and let's open this and not only that i will show you one more thing here this is in proposed state now i'm going to approve it so here you can approve major case candidate so whenever approving a major case candidate for this particular case it doesn't have any child cases and this major case candidate will become a major case let's approve it so see same case same case has been promoted to a major case and we don't have any child cases added here because we are not doing from the existing case and in this list if you refresh it you can see only one because this is already other case is already moved to promoted state or approved state let's see that here major case information is accepted state so this is how we can do this these two things again we can here also for these cases we can create child cases by adding affected customers list or we can add from the existing list of cases this is how we can do it after that let's show how we can reject a case reject a case candidate i'm opening this which is already existing and this is created from an existing case so i'm going to reject it click on reject major case candidate and you need to write down the work notes or why you are rejecting and you can click on okay so that it will move back to its original case see major case candidate has been rejected and it will become as a normal case now and here you can see major case state is rejected if you want to propose it again you can propose it from the agent's profile agents cannot work on major cases only service issue managers uh, customer uh, managers or major issue managers can work on this agents can propose a major case candidate that's it this is how we can do all these things and let me show one more thing how we can check major case states let's check how we can see normal cases how we can see major cases or major case candidates here we will be having a major case state so if you click on this and if you can group by let me show that these empty records are normal cases and accepted or rejected will be a major cases we can have one more major case state is proposed which is, which are major case candidates this is all about major issue management i have covered how to propose a case as a major case candidate how we can create directly a major case candidate how we can approve or reject it how we can create a major case and how we can create child cases and how we can add existing cases to a child cases as a major case this is all about major issue management thank you